May 31, 2016, at around 2 a.m., a Pasadena police officer was stopped at a red light when he noticed the vehicle directly in front of him had an expired registration sticker. Immediately after the light turned green, the officer switched on his lights to pull the vehicle over for a routine traffic stop. The dash cam footage shows the police officer shining his flashlight inside the vehicle and talking to the driver. Although nothing out of the ordinary seemed to be happening, the police officer would soon hear screaming and banging noises coming from the trunk of the car. When the officer conducting the traffic stop asks the man and woman in the vehicle about the noises, the driver immediately steps on the gas and speeds off. The officer reacts instantly and runs back to his cruiser to pursue the vehicle. After taking a wrong turn and arriving at a dead end, the driver of the getaway car can be seen frantically getting out of the vehicle and attempting to escape on foot, leaving behind the woman who later turned out to be his girlfriend in the passenger seat. The suspect doesn't get far though, as he falls on the ground before making it past his own car. After arresting the suspect, one of the officers on scene would use the keys that were still inside the suspect's vehicle to open the trunk of the car, where he would find a woman who later turned out to be the driver's ex-girlfriend cramped in the trunk of the vehicle. The victim later revealed that her ex-boyfriend Alexander Salas and his girlfriend Nicole Cruz had kidnapped her in order to scare her, and that the reason why Salas appears shirtless in the video was because he had tied his shirt around her head before putting her in the trunk. The true details regarding Salas' motives for kidnapping his ex-girlfriend remained unclear. After the events, Alexander Salas and Nicole Cruz were both charged with aggravated kidnapping. This dash cam footage was captured by a New Jersey police cruiser in the early hours of the morning of February 24th, 2023. A few minutes before this footage was recorded, several police officers and first responders had left their vehicles on a closed-off highway lane to attend to the victims of a crash involving an SUV that had spun off the road after the driver had lost control of the vehicle. What starts out as uneventful footage of a couple police cars stopped on the highway soon takes a terrifying turn. The dashcam video shows New Jersey State Trooper Stefan Lentini shining his flashlight at an oncoming heavy-duty tow truck to try and get the driver's attention. Alarmingly, the truck doesn't seem to be showing any signs of stopping or even moving to the next lane. As the 40,000-pound truck's headlights continue to approach the trooper and his car, Lentini is forced to run off the highway to avoid the oncoming truck. After the truck slams into three police cars and an ambulance, panic state trooper DeVry Mariano's voice can be heard as he calls desperately for his partner, serving as a chilling reminder of how tragically this crash could have ended. Amazingly enough, no one, not even the truck driver, was seriously injured during the incident. Although the 53-year-old tow truck driver was given a summons for the careless driving that resulted in three total police cars and a damaged ambulance, the factors leading up to the crash have not yet been revealed. Though, many are suspicious of the driver falling asleep at the wheel or just not paying attention in general. In February 2014, South Carolina Highway Patrol officers were instructed to be on the lookout for an old green Cadillac that had allegedly been involved in a kidnapping in Virginia Beach. On February 25th, state troopers spotted a vehicle matching that exact description at a rest stop along I-95 in South Carolina. The footage captured by one of the police cars shows a trooper cautiously preparing to open the trunk of the Cadillac. Okay. Upon flipping open the trunk of the car, the trooper would find a middle-aged woman stuffed in the back of the vehicle. 
Disturbingly, the victim later turned out to be the mother of 20-year-old Rogelio Lopez, the driver of the car. According to authorities, the woman sustained minor injuries when, after she attempted to escape the car after Rogelio stopped at a Dairy Queen, he reportedly jabbed her in the ribs and chest and put her back in the trunk of the car. The dashcam video shows how after helping the woman out of the car, another officer at the scene proceeds to interrogate the suspect. What's going on that made you want to do this and put her in the trunk? She didn't want to come with me. So why she did... wasn't a problem that she, she didn't want to come with me. Although Rogelio's defense attorney would later attempt to plead insanity for his client, the suspect was jailed on kidnapping charges. The footage that was captured by Officer Wayne Daniels' police car in Garden City, Georgia is arguably one of the most notorious dashcam videos on the internet, as it left viewers completely baffled for years and even appeared on a paranormal TV show. In the video, the officer attempts to pull over a white sedan for reckless and erratic driving near midnight on April 3rd, 1997. After fooling the officers into thinking he was going to pull over on the side of the road, the mysterious driver begins swerving chaotically before making a U-turn and disappearing into the night. Suddenly, the white car comes into view again and attempts to leave the officers behind by maneuvering the white sedan into a series of dangerous swerves. Although the video quality is understandably low, the driver in the white car would reportedly reach speeds of over 115 miles per hour during the high-speed pursuit. Out of nowhere, the suspect turns onto a side road and reaches what looks like a dead end. And this is where things get creepy. Instead of stopping, the white car makes a sharp turn to the left and disappears behind a metal fence, leaving the officers and the viewers of this viral video completely stunned. One of the most plausible theories on this shocking footage is that the fence might not have been properly fixed to the ground, allowing the car to go straight through the fence. But this still leaves a lot of unanswered questions. To this day, the explanation for this eerie footage remains a mystery. This dashcam footage comes from a police car in a suburb of Chicago. In the video captured on May 10th, 2018, Sergeant Anthony Manino is seen putting himself and his car between a two-year-old boy and oncoming traffic. Before the sergeant arrived at the scene, the small child was weaving in and out of a high traffic lane, running dangerously close to the trucks and cars that were passing by at high speeds. According to reports, Menino originally thought that the child was a stray dog, but after realizing it was actually a little boy running a few feet from traffic on Route 59, he immediately got out of the car and ran to the child's rescue. 31, I'm trying to corral a one-year-old boy running across 59 just north of North Aurora. Hey! 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 Come here! You're okay. You're okay. Yeah, I have him. Uh, I'm going to have to try to find his parents. How you doing? What's your name? Yeah, please put pieces together. We're in front of the old American sale. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Videos like this one raise an obvious and very concerning question. Where were this child's parents? Fortunately, in this case, the boy's mother showed up a few minutes later, understandably emotional about the incident. It was later discovered that the family lived only two blocks away from the spot where Menino found the child, and that the boy had run away from his mother in the blink of an eye. Had Sergeant Menino not been there at that exact moment, there is no telling what could have happened to the little boy.
This unsettling dash cam footage shows the police's response to a report of two people in clown costumes harassing civilians and chasing after cars in the early morning hours of October 7, 2016 in Menasha, Wisconsin. The incident was reported amid the disturbing surge of creepy clown sightings in various locations worldwide in which people dressed up as clowns would sometimes even go as far as threatening innocent passers-by with weapons. In this video, when the officer asks them to show him their hands to make sure they aren't carrying any weapons, the clowns comply by slowly and creepily bringing their hands out to their sides, standing still and staring at the officer. Although this footage looks innocent enough when compared to some of the other clown sightings that were reported that same month, there is more to the story than meets the eye. It turns out the two clowns were being driven around by a 26-year-old woman who was actually the wife of one of the clowns. Shockingly, it was discovered that the couple had left their four-year-old home alone for several hours in order to participate in this prank. After the parents were referred to court on charges of child neglect, the child's mother was detained at Winnebago County Jail as a probation measure. The other clown was let off with a warning. <laughs> 